Namaste. In this video, you will learn how to do optimization or design study in SolidWorks. So, first question arises in your mind: What is the need to do design study or optimization in SolidWorks, or what is its real application? For example, as you can see, this is a I beam. Now, when you go to a vendor and ask for the vendor's price, it will say. it will charge you on the basis of mass of iron or material that you are going to buy because of that it will going to increase the cost uh, cost of your production or your product so how can you reduce the cost of product by reducing the weight of the i beam but when you want to reduce the weight of the i beam you don't want to compromise its factor of safety or maximum stress it can handle because it will going to impact the quality of your product so basically optimization is used to enhance the quality but reduce the price or cost so in this video we will learn how to do it remember to do this optimization uh, first you need to do is check out my previous video in which i told you how to do static simulation in swordworks remember without that you can't do uh, whatever i am doing in this video because uh, to do design study you need to do first a simulation after that you can do design study so to 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 do design study click on the study advisor arrow click on new study after that select design study click okay now here you see it is asking variables so a question arises in your mind what is a variable so click on add parameters here i already selected the parameters so let me tell you what are the parameters parameters are something that we are going to vary so that our uh, so that i get the uh, less so i uh, so you can say i get good factor of safety or stress at a less mass so let's add parameter from the sketch for example click here delete 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 so now select this width 100 mm now name it so it will make easy for you now type enter after that select another row and select this 20 mm this is basically the depth or sometime called uh, flange of width or something else and at last select this depth okay depth and this thing is called thickness thickness and this is called and uh, let's say this is called depth now click on apply and click okay now add other parameters depth and thickness here you see uh you see a value of minimum maximum and step and here you see range with step discrete values range so range with step basically uh, currently we are seeing is minimum value maximum value and step value so basically what going to happen when i do the simulation it will start uh with with the with the conditions that uh, that my width is 50 mm and at that time my depth is 40 mm and my thickness is 10 mm and it will run a simulation on just in just three in uh, in these three parameters now when it satisfy these three parameter it will now run a simulation where my width is 50 mm depth is 120 mm and my thickness is 10 mm in this way it will do a permutation uh, permutation combination like thing and we get the result Here you see it will run a total active scenario of 27, but as you know my width is uh, total width is 100 mm. So I want that my minimum width is remain 100 mm, and depth should be at least 80 mm because I want that the scenario it don't affect and thickness to 10 to 10 and 30 mm. Now a question arises in your mind. why i am selecting the step value 50 mm 
may be some people don't understand what is mean by depth 50 mm 40 mm 10 mm don't worry when i run this simulation you will realize what it means now click on add constraint click on add sensor click on simulation data remember you can only use simulation data when you have already run uh, run the simulation if you don't then you can't do this uh, design study click ok now here it is asking uh, what is the minimum stress maximum stress or in between so basically I want that my stress should not go beyond 50 so click on less than because I don't want that my stress go above 50 Newton per mm scale so it will decide uh, so it will run this simulation and see where I got a uh, maximum stress of 50 Newton per mm scale with a less weight now click on add sensor click on mass properties select this I beam click ok now here I goal is to minimize the mass if you want to maximize the mass just click here and click maximize and it will do the maximization now remember we have done this 100 150 and 50 mm now I'm going to run this sim simulation and you will realize what is this thing do now when I click on run remember it will do a total 12 scenarios if you want to more accurate and better result then what I say uh, what I recommend is reduce the step size 1 mm in every case but I am not doing it because when I do that it will gonna take very long time and it is just waste for me because my main aim here is to tell you how to do a simulation okay it up to you how much quality you want if you want much better quality just decrease the step size 1 mm or 0.5 mm as per your requirement okay now click on run when you click on this you will see it is starting running a scenarios now remember the st step size here 100 mm is the initial width and depth 80 mm and thickness remember thickness is was 10 mm now it running the simulation now here you can see it running the simulation now remember uh, what was my step size 100 150 mm ok now 50 mm increase now it runs the simulation at a depth, depth of 80 and 10 mm if you uh, ok I can't go back to show you so it is running within the variable range and here you can see where it, uh, where is basically uh, closing my constraint the red part is basically have stress greater than 50 newton per mm scale because of that it uh, it just uh, show them red because these results are not ideal or beneficial for me but they contain they also contain less mass but they are not going to recommend me because they uh, are increasing the limit of 50 newton per mm scale here my simulation is done and you can see when my width is 100 mm and depth is 120 mm and thickness is 10 mm at that point i got a stress value of 39.126 and a weight of 5280 gram and here are the current uh, at current my width is 100 mm depth is 80 mm and thickness is 20 mm what you can see is it increased my depth and decreased my thickness because of that i got this value so this is how optimization work here is the optimization uh, this is basically the current figure you see is the optimal uh, optimization figure okay if you want the original this is the original okay and this is the optimal one i hope you like this video if you have any doubts and queries make sure you ask comments and please give me the valuable feedback what kind of video tutorial you want and what you want to learn i can make video tutorial as per the requirement thanks for watching and have a great day namaste